This right here is my hydrofoil boat, and as you guys might have seen in the previous video, it is a little bit unstable when you try and drive it, which is a bit of a problem. Now a lot of you guys suggested maybe moving the hydrofoil bits to the side a little bit more, and honestly that is a good idea. So today we're going to move those guys out to the sides, and I think we'll probably end up doing some missions. We need to make some money back. So, yeah, let's get straight to it, shall we? There are lots of enemies in Stormworks, from navy ships to helicopters armed with rockets and even some tanks. It is our goal to eradicate those enemies from the world. Welcome to Stormworks Search and Destroy. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this straight away. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this guy and these guys right here. We're then going to go to the side right here. I'm going to grab a blue color, we're going to do this. On the inside, obviously, we're going to paint it back this color. There we go. And we're going to, like, angle it out to the sides. I have no idea what this is going to look like in the end. But let's go ahead and turn it sideways. Do this. Actually, should we do it from the bottom? Probably, right? Yeah, let's do it from the bottom. Uh, out to the side, kind of like this. There we go. Delete that guy. And I think we're actually going to be, you know, let's do one more. There we go. We're going to be a little bit higher up than we were before. So, all I got to do now is grab this guy all the way out to here, all the way to the back, and this side. We're going to cut it, we're going to move it upwards to the side again, paste it there, and we're going to do this one as well. So, the sides, the front, the back, cut it, move it upwards, move it to the side, paste it in, there we go. Merge this guy with this, this guy with this, and there we go. Hopefully that'll be a lot better. Okay, so we're inside. Let's go ahead and do this and this. There we go. Awesome. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead and throttle up to full. Amazing. And then we're going to go ahead and clutch in to 38. There we go. That might be a little bit crazy, but sure. We are still kind of unstable, but that's fine. Maybe if we move the propellers sideways as well. I don't know. I guess we could do that. In fact, let's go ahead and try it. Oh, we are. <laughs> we are angling ourselves over quite a bit here. Holy! Alright, guys. So, I might actually clamp our turning uh, thingamabobby, our turning radius, because we are currently not very, <laughs> not very stable with turning. However, we totally could be. I think if I add more control surfaces to the uh, roll, then we might be fine. But yes, we've moved the propellers out to the sides. It looks very dodgy and very weird. But I think this is a-okay. As long as we're not using too much fuel, which we definitely are not, our speed is almost 40 meters per second, and our battery is obviously recharging. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and add a bunch more to this, and hopefully we can make it look nice. It'll be equipped with a bunch of stuff as well. Uh, we'll have some seats and some weapons as well. All right, cool. So, on the inside, let's go ahead and type in equipment. Yes! We're going to go ahead and do it in the color of the inside. That's good. And we're going to need some first aid kits. Those are actually going to go right here. Two first aid kits right there in the front. Uh, we then... Actually, I guess that's four. We're then going to need a fire extinguisher. And in fact, two of them would actually make sense. So, we're going to go with two of those. We're going to go with two of these as well. We're going to go with two defibrillators, wherever those are. I can never find them. <laughs> I can actually never see them. Uh, but yeah, two defibrillators would be great. Let's go and delete this and shove it in the bottom. And then what else do we really, really need? I don't really know, to be honest. Maybe underwater welders, just in case. So let's go ahead and shove those into there. That is a lot of equipment already added. We're then going to go ahead and add more first aid kits back here. There we go. I'm going to have to paint in this piece around the edge. There we go. And that's fine. That's a lot of stuff. Um, there are more things that would actually be kind of useful, like diving equipment. Uh, but I don't really have a place for that, unless I delete this in the floor. I shove that in there. That actually totally works. We're going to need a heater, because of course we have some issues with heaters sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but we do. So we're going to go ahead and shove that right there. I'm going to delete this guy and shove a button in. Right there like this. Okay, excellent. And we're going to connect that to this straight away. Uh, the batteries, I'm going to go ahead and connect that up straight away as well. And that's fine. I'm going to connect it to, like, everything. Okay, yes. One, two, three, four. Excellent. There we go. I'm also going to actually connect it down to there as well. Good. All right, that's, that's fine. I'm going to connect these guys as well. That's awesome. 
Okay, cool. We're now going to need some seats. I'm actually going to go ahead and just shove those seats on the sides. Um, no real reason for it, I guess. Except the fact that obviously it's easier to position the people uh, if we shove them on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, on each individual piece in the center, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I would say that's fine. I'm going to delete this guy, shove another one of those there. And there we go. Um, although that does look a little bit weird, so maybe without any of these would be fine too. Yeah, maybe? I don't know, how many gaps do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Because it's odd, I'm gonna leave it as is. Alright, cool. Cool, that's a bunch of seats. Uh, some weaponry would be nice on this thing as well. If I just type in weapon, what happens? I guess loads of weapons come up. That makes sense. Um, some sort of auto cannon system on the front would be great, or if we actually went for some rockets instead. How cool would it be if we had like a rocket launcher on the front? Hmm. And when I say rocket, I actually mean missile. What if we have a missile launcher on the front? That could be really awesome, actually. Alright, so let's go ahead and just do it, I guess. Pivots, here we go. We're gonna go with one of these guys. Uh, I'm not... Oh, you know what? I will, actually. I was gonna say, I won't have it go all the way around, like spinning all the way around, but actually that's... It's untrue. I'm going to have it spin all the way around loads. Okay, we're then going to paint it in like yellow, not yellow, pink for now. There we go, pink. Uh, and hopefully we can make it look nice in pink. So, let's go with some weight blocks to begin with. Here we go, so let's just go and shove these guys onto here. We're going to go up by like three, I want to go with. We're going to shove these guys into there, into there as well. That is pretty awesome. On either side of this, we're going to do this guy and this guy. Okay, awesome. And shove this in the center. Alright, that's starting to look quite nice. Uh, we're then going to need the thing for the rockets. So I'm thinking we actually go ahead and put a pivot on here. And that'll allow it to actually go up and down if we need to. So I'm going to shove that on there like that. That looks alright, I suppose. We're then going to go ahead and get ourselves a hard point. Like this one. And I'm going to shove that guy right there. And right here. And right here. There we go. And I'm also going to shove... Oh, I don't know. How many should we have? <laughs> how many should we have? Because realistically, we can actually have loads. If I delete this guy and this guy, and we replace them with this one and this one, then we can actually put another one right here as well. Which I'm actually down to do. So essentially what that means is... We can angle this upwards if we need to fire upwards. We can spin them all around, which is also pretty cool. Uh, and that would actually totally work. Yeah. All right, whilst we are doing this, let's go ahead and change this to water. There we go. Uh, so every time I spawn it in, we don't lose fuel. And then we need to build some rockets on here. Okay, interesting. Interesting indeed. Let's go ahead and shove these guys on here. Go to hard point again. We're going to need this guy. There we go. We're then going to need a warhead. All right, we're going to go with like a small one, I guess. Uh, sm no, that's large. Hold up. Small. Okay, shove that into there. We're then going to need a radar. Uh, so shove this onto here like that. That's good. We're then going to need some fuel. So if we type in rocket, we can get ourselves some fuel. One, two, three, I guess. We're then going to need one of these to control it. I think that goes in there like that. Although, actually, it's opposite. Oh, does it go on it that way? It looks like it does. Yeah, that matches. And then we need the actual rocket booster, which is this guy. Okay. And then we need, obviously, these to go into this slot, this slot, and this slot, and the same on the other side. But first, we're going to change this. Static? Yes, I guess. Sweep limit? I don't actually know. I have no idea. Uh, POV? We're going to go to 0.05, I guess? Yeah, sure. 0.05, 0.05. It's a lot shorter effective range, but it should be fine. Uh, static on this one. Excellent. And that's all good, I think. I think. Maybe. Um, let's go ahead and drop this down to like 80%. Burn rate. Okay. And we'll connect this to this guy. This to this guy. Uh, composite. Uh, I believe it's this one? 
Missile output? Outputs X and Y data for the most immediate target. Uh, yeah, link directly into rocket fins. Excellent. We're then going to connect this to here and here. Okay. And that's all fine. Delete this guy, delete this guy. We're going to go ahead and grab these rockets and we're going to shove them across. So copy it, paste it. Oh, that didn't work. That did not work. Hold on. Delete this guy. Grab this one. Grab this one. There we go. And this one. Right, copy it now. Paste it into there. There's one. There's two. There's three. Excellent. And then four, five, six. So altogether, we've got eight rockets. Um, or eight missiles, I should say. We can't really see <laughs> from the bridge, but that's okay. Is it? I think this is too tall. I think this is a bit too tall. So I'm going to delete this one. And this one. Hopefully, we can still aim these. In fact, we definitely will be able to. So now, if I go to this guy, I go up to there and to the back, to this side and to the bottom. If I cut these, move it down to there, paste it. Hopefully, we can see now, but it still might be difficult. It might be a bit difficult. All right, shove that on there. Awesome. Uh, right, okay, cool. So we need a way of actually using these, and I'm not sure what that is just yet. I almost forgot, actually. You need to put the launched to activate and arm, otherwise you're going to have some serious issues. Uh, the other thing is, I should have changed this as well. We're going to go to 10 meters per second on each of these. Uh, and essentially what that means is, they won't just explode whenever I fire them. Uh, which is exactly what happened on our boat. So, there we go. Uh, yep, there we go, and there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, each of these, uh, I kind of want to have them on separate buttons, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know if it does, or whether it doesn't, but yeah, some separate buttons would make sense to me. Uh, I am going to go and shove this guy into here and here. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do this. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Uh, from there, across to there. Yeah. Uh, extra weight should allow it to be a little bit more... Um, uh, balanced, I guess, is the right word. Yeah, balanced. Sure. Uh, delete that guy, shove it into there. Excellent. I think we're ready for testing. But I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to test them. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is... Whoa! I'm going to need some electricity on that. Holy! Uh, there's actually no electricity on this pivot. There's no electricity on this pivot, this pivot. Or any of these hard points. Okay, let's do that. And that should be fine now. All right, cool. Uh, we're also going to need some controls for this. And I'm thinking uh, left and right would be great. What's up and down on again? That's on the oh the clutch. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> Hang on a second. This is the wrong way around, I think. Whatever, it's fine. Um, yeah, I need some controls for that. So I think we're just going to go ahead and go to seat again. And I'm going to control those via a separate seat, which would be cool if I could fit it in, but I don't think I can. I could have to go out there and actually control it. That's another option, uh, but I don't think it should be. I don't think it should be. Where? What? Where's my fuel? <laughs> Where? Where's my fuel tank thingamabobby's gone? I, I've noticed like a lot of things being a bit odd on this map. Uh, they used to be here, I swear, but they're not here anymore. Also, this has moved upwards, so that's there now. Uh, I'm gonna have to go into camera mode to see if I can see below... Where have they gone? Legit, where are they? I, I actually have no idea. They've disappeared. Well, that's not good. I have no way of getting fuel out of them now. Anyway, what it said was we're missing the required fuel for the propellant for these. Now, is that jet fuel? Because I'm assuming it is. But I don't know, so I'm going to go and try to fire one off. And hopefully that'll be fine. Also, I've put the controls here. So, let's go ahead and do this. If I want to spin it around, I can. And if I want to fire it, three, two, one. I mean, the radar's working. But it definitely did not... I repeat, did not fire. It didn't fire, guys. Hmm. Can I knock that one off? No. 
Is it merged? Hang on, are, these, are those two the same? They are. Ah, that causes some issues. All uh, right, connect this and this together. But this one should not be the same. Like, not at all. Could it paste it? There we go. Right, maybe... Oh, no, I was going to say, maybe it didn't fire because of that. But no, that's not the case. Also, I need to... Hold on. Hold on. I need to grab the bit below it too, otherwise we're going to have issues. Paste that in again. Merge this with this. There we go. And now we're fine. Uh, yeah, so it's missing propellant, but I don't know how to fill them. I think it's jet fuel, but I genuinely don't know. Alright, so I suppose what I can do then is actually just add an autopilot to this thing and we can go do some missions because we need the money and we also... No, actually, no, that's the main thing. We need the money. Um, so, yeah. I think what has actually... Oh, no, because there was no rocket fuel on my other thing, was there? I haven't used rocket fuel. I've not used rockets. So I don't know where my, my, my fuel's gone. Anyway, GPS, I need to go ahead and put one in. And then we can obviously use it to sail around. All right, everybody. So uh, at this point, I believe it's ready to go. Um, it doesn't need this. I've actually taken the stuff off the front and I've added a GPS. Hopefully it does work. I am going to go to sleep until we get a mission we can do. And then we're going to go do it. So Ace Master's Safety. Where's that at? Where, where is that at, actually? All right, so we got some money. That's great. Uh, I believe that mission is... Where is that mission? There. That's where the mission is. I can't really do that. I mean, I kind of can, but I kind of can't. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. Uh, so I'm going to go to sleep. If we can get another mission that's, that's closer, that would be great. All right, a river barge requires servicing. I suppose I could do that. Where's that? Oh my. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I can't do that one either. Ugh. The other option is, although we don't have... Oh my, oh my goodness. Uh, although we don't have uh, the testing actually sorted out just yet as to whether this thing can tow anything, <laughs> maybe we should try. Maybe we should actually set sail Go all the way out to where we crashed our plane, and we try and tow it back. The issue is, obviously, I've got nothing in this boat as self-defense. We've got no weapons. Maybe that's okay. I don't know why I'm thinking that's okay, but maybe it is. It's not, is it? It's definitely not. But we could try. <laughs> okay, so the plan is we go to pumps and we install ourselves some pumps into the boat that allow it to be emptied, essentially. So, yeah, <laughs> we are getting ready for, for war, kind of, anyway. Uh, so, as long as that's in, yep, we are good. Let's go ahead and do a bunch of these. We're going to go to fluid ports and we're just going to go and shove that here, here, here and here. We're going to go to the underside to try and figure out whereabouts we need to delete for these. There's one, there's two. Okay, there's three, there's four. Uh, flip this over. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Paint all of these. Very nice. And that's all good. So far, so good. Yes. Essentially, what this does is gives us enough pumping out power to hopefully uh, be able to pump out any of the uh, water that gets into this area, uh, which could be a lot. It could be a lot. Uh, I should also probably put a light downstairs, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of these, shove it into there, and that'll be great too. Okay, so connect this up to deck lights, I guess? Sure, it can be on deck lights. We'll give it some electricity as well from the battery. We are good. We're also going to do this, 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 and this, and these ones as well. All right, and I'm going to have another button for bilge pumps. I'm going to delete this one, shove it into there. Bilge. Pumps. Okay, and connect that to the electricity. Connect that down to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're good. If we get a shot, we, we might be able to pump it out. I don't know. All right, teammates, we are ready for our daring mission. At least, I think so, anyway. Holy. 
What in the world? Okay. <laughs> uh, right, we are ready. Let's go ahead and do this and this. I should have probably put... What was that? The rope on this side just snapped. Okay, that's weird. That's very weird. Uh, GPS, let's go ahead and try it. So, 23 kilometers away. GPS is on. What's that button for? <laughs> what is that? Oh no, you know what's happened? This button deleted that button and that button was for nav lights. I need to fix that. Okay, I am ready, I think. So nav lights now work. Go ahead and shove GPS on. I actually do this. Alright, the GPS is on. We're gonna go ahead and throttle this up to full. And we're gonna set this to 35. There we go. Alright, our speed should raise up to like 40 or whatever. It is trying to go in the right direction. It seems like it might be a little bit sensitive. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We should be heading in like this direction. But it is seemingly fighting me a little bit. This autopilot. And if we turn it off? Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and just keep it off. We'll keep it off for now anyway. Yeah, it likes to like swing itself around a little bit and that's really weird, but as long as we get there, we're gonna be fine. Our speed is currently 41, our fuel is completely fine, and our battery is... I mean, it's running low, but it's, it's still gonna be fine. Okay, so set this again. Hopefully it'll keep me somewhat on target. If we are going to zigzag all the way there, it's sort of fine, though. Look at how fast we are. That's amazing. Okay, guys, so I have changed up the boat a, a little bit without you guys seeing it. Uh, essentially, I've taken off the front bits. I decided that uh, they're kind of unnecessary. My boat is currently out of the water, pretty much, without those pieces actually being there. And we actually seem a little bit more stable, which is ridiculous. I say stable. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is um, stable loosely. We are we are flying, uh, kind of, uh, which is fine. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get all the way out there. Uh, we are gonna run into some issues, and I know that. Uh, one of the issues being the fact that there is gonna be an enemy ship uh, essentially waiting for us out there. Uh, that is A-OK -okay, though, because once we get out there, we're gonna go ahead and whack on the diving equipment. We're gonna grab a rope. We're gonna jump underneath the ship, attach the ship onto uh, the plane, because I'm assuming the plane is underwater. And then we will... Oh, I don't know, is this a good idea? We'll try and sail it out. Uh, I'm assuming that we'll be able to do that. I actually don't know, but I'm sure we got this. We're 16 kilometers away. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so we are actually a little bit less efficient. As you guys can see, our fuel is actually going down pretty quickly. Um, but that's okay. Also, yeah, we, we do get the wobbles every now and then. Um, even with those issues, though, I think this is better. <laughs> which, which is so weird. We have less... Oh, well, we actually have more control over our steering now. Uh, which is exactly what we need. So, I think I'm happy with it. Even though it's... It's very odd. We'll definitely make this better. We definitely, definitely will make this better. Um, and one of the ways we'll do that is we'll actually go ahead and put these propellers uh, lower in the water. And we'll actually have some control surfaces on the boat that essentially makes it fly like a plane. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, look at these waves. We are, we are just plowing sort of through them. <laughs> like, <laughs> if we dive down into it, we come out the other side and uh, it's fine. So, yeah, I'm actually completely fine with the way this boat handles. Even though it's obviously <laughs> not quite right. What we should do actually is uh, probably maybe stop and sleep until we get some good weather. Uh, but I'm also thinking the bad weather might be good in terms of not getting shot. Yeah. Although, saying that, I'm not entirely sure that's true. Because, um, I don't know whether the AI is very good at shooting still. Maybe. We'll see. We are only 4.5 kilometers away, though, so... Hopefully it goes well. All right, here we go. 1.2 kilometers away, and... Wait, the boat is actually shooting right now. 
I'm gonna grab some first aid kits because I'm gonna need them. Uh, I'm also gonna grab the diving equipment from below, so let's grab that. And I'm gonna stop this thing from moving. Alright, we just gotta go straight over the top of this. In fact, I should probably turn around. Alright, I need to be careful because obviously I could still flip over even with how it's currently going. Alright, so that boat is shooting. We're gonna drive over to the plane. He's still shooting. He's trying to shoot the plane. As long as he keeps shooting the plane and not me, I'm happy. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. We seem like we're in a good spot right here. Jump out as quickly as we can. All right, close the door. Grab a rope. Attach the rope onto the rear of the, uh, the boat. Excellent, swim on down. Go, go, go. If I can attach this onto maybe the tail of this, that'll be great. But I have a feeling we might not be able to do it. It's the highest piece, that's why I need to get to it. There we go, we're attached! Okay, it's not the best piece to pull it from, but I just need to get out of here. Uh, the boat over there is still angry, so... Oh, it's shooting my boat now. It's actually shooting my boat a little bit. We need to just get in and go. Hopefully I don't get shot, that'd be great. Alright, there we go. Uh, take off my clothes, very nice. Go! Uh, I need to figure out where I'm going. Just anywhere. <laughs> anywhere away from here, please. Okay, set this to something. Oh, we are getting shot. We are actually getting shot at. Oh, and this is hard to tow. <laughs> this is a this is a really bad thing to be towing. Oh my, our speed is so slow. Um maybe we should actually take it to like a staging post. 5.7 kilometers away, that would work. That would totally work. Let's take it there. Right, guys, I've got an idea. We are actually going to go ahead and stop really quickly. Now that I've pulled it up from the bottom of the ocean, we're going to try our best to attach a new rope from here, if I can, uh, onto the nose of the plane. Uh, main reason for that is because it'll actually pull along a lot easier and a lot nicer. I forgot my diving equipment. I have forgotten the diving equipment. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, but I'm gonna try and do it anyway. Dive, dive, dive! I don't think I'll get there. I'm almost there. It's in the... it's in the floor. Are you serious? It's in the floor, I can't get to it. No! Alright, different idea, different idea. Just grab this one, uh, if possible. Obviously not that one. Oh, I, ah. <laughs> Swim up. First aid kit. Right, good. We're going to grab this guy. And we're going to shove it into the center where this light is. Because I believe there is an attachy point there. Wait, is it attached? I swear. I, I don't know what's happening right now. But things aren't going well. Alright, dive down. Where's the attachy point? There, right, it's attached. Cool. So now, we're in a much nicer position to actually pull it, hopefully. Alright, cool. I'm actually happy with this then. So, we are actually managing to tow it, as you guys can see. We've got 4.9 kilometers to go, so we've got quite a distance to cover. And, um, I guess the main issue with this is, even if I pull it all the way out there, we won't be able to return it. So, I'm actually thinking this base right here is actually my base. And it's only 1.8 kilometers away, so let's go to that instead. Hopefully we can turn without this being too much of an issue. Yeah, you know what? It's actually towing it way better than expected. Like, way better than expected. Guys, I may or may not have made a boo-boo. Uh, like, uh, well, I say may or may not. I've definitely made a boo-boo. My boat is on fire. <laughs> There's a big boo-boo. actually happened right now. I need to just try and sail it. Oh my, now I'm very on fire. Oh my, okay. Um, fire extinguisher? Sure. Let's just try and put it out. That might work. It might actually work. I just need to try and get it around the corner. But I can't do it. Okay, this is... this isn't great. Uh, but it's also fine. <laughs> it's not great, but it's also fine. I'm gonna be purchasing this island. Alright, come here, you! Bam! Yes! Alright, we've bought the island, it is now our island. Um, we're gonna be losing all of the fuel, uh, that we had. But that's fine, I just need it to be daytime, that's good. We'll get ourselves out in one of our boats, doesn't really matter which boat it is, to be honest. Uh, although, I suppose, 
it needs to be cheap enough for us to actually use it and powerful enough for it to pull. This one will be great. This one is actually a very good one for the job. And in fact, I could have used this to actually go out and do the mission in the first place, but I didn't. So, there you go. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get in. Uh, spotlight, yeah, deck lights, sure. Interior lights, engine, throttle it up, throttle this one up too. What's happening? Wait, no, is this? It is, isn't it? This, <laughs> no. I think this is the place I stole all of the diesel from. I'm almost certain that is actually true. I think I stole every bit of diesel out of this place. Okay, I need a boat hull, like this one. Uh, I need to delete the engines inside of this. Including these guys, including this. Uh, including all of this. Yeah, right, okay, we don't need any of those. And we're gonna get ourselves a motor. A medium one. Shove it under there, that's all good. Okay, that motor is then gonna be the thing that powers it, everything. We're gonna go ahead and have to drive it around using these motors. That's okay. W and S, Bosch, and Bosch. There we go. We could go forwards, backwards, whatever, with those. And we're gonna need a battery uh, for the rest of it. So, one battery, two battery, three battery, four battery, five battery, six battery, seven batteries? There's actually like eight or oh, nine batteries in here now. I don't need this many batteries, uh, and I'm not going to be using this very much. I say very much, I'm not going to be using this at all after this. So let's just go ahead and tow our boats around, and we'll be fine. Um, that does mean, however, I actually want to build some sort of electrical boat to travel all the way home with. Because I'm going to need to. I'm actually going to need to do that. Alright, here we go. I mean, this could probably do it, to be fair. Where's my boat? Where's my boat and my plane? They're around this corner. Okay, turn around. I've now got to use this boat to actually drag my other boat that's underneath us. And also the plane that we rescued last time back. So turn on all of these things. Get rid of that, that's fine. Okay, we're going to grab one of these. Connect that onto the front of the boat. If possible, it seems like it will be. There we go. And now we just need to drive. So everything can be returned to the workbench. All right, here we go. Hopefully we don't, like, flip over or anything like that. Anything crazy. Oh, this is strong. <laughs> this is... This is actually very strong. There we go. So we'll return uh, this boat first. The one that's behind me. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna... I'll return this one, actually. I'm gonna save this as SD Electric. SD Electric, sure. We're then gonna try and return the other vehicle. That is... Oh, no. Can I not get it? Because it's so low. Okay, that's annoying. Um... I... Hmm... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go around and I'm going to grab the plane next, and then we'll try and just bring them both into the workbench and that'll be fine. There's no reason not to, so... Let's just sail around to the left-hand side, grab the plane, tow it in, and then if we need to, we can use a winch to pull the rest in. That would be fine. It's bizarre, by the way, that this plane below us actually still has its engine running. Like, it's still actually... The propellers are still spinning. Which is insane. Um, but yeah, it's true. Alright, attach the rope onto there. Very nice. Let's go, go, go. Close this up. I need a better design for this boat. It's it's not quite right. I think I might um, take the bridge off and redesign it. Uh, honestly. I think that would be a great idea, actually. So yeah. Anyway. Let's go ahead and drag this around to this side. Here we go. I need to pull it in as far as I can. So that we can return it. Alright, here we go. 
Rammed it into a wall, but that's good. So now we exit. Edit vehicle in the zone. This guy. Very nice. And now we need to try and get that one in as well. Also, I was saying a second ago, maybe an electric one would be great. But now that I think about it, maybe... Just maybe... A... Um... A plane. Some sort of seaplane would be great. I could actually build one here and just practice with it here. This is very close to the enemy base, so you don't really want to be doing that. But it is something we could do. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and select in on there. I'm going to shove that on there. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to do more, but actually the boat itself is getting pulled towards the, uh, the boat underwater. That's so annoying. It's really annoying that that is so close, but so far away. All right, well, I guess I'll get that in uh, here in my own time, but um, it's pretty good. We, we did actually get our plane back, which is great. That was the main goal of today. Um, and yeah, let me know what vehicle you guys think I should build from here. It's going to have to be a sea vehicle of some sort. Should it be an electric boat? Or, or not? Should I actually just continue with this one and try and get it better? Um, but unfortunately there is no, there's no fuel here, so it's gonna have to be electric. Or, or what? Let me know. I think a plane, like a really light plane to get home would be great. But, I'm just not sure. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.